the domain of the function f of x equal to square root of 1 minus mod x by 2 minus mod x is this domain is where x is defined where the sorry domain is the set of values of x for which the function is defined values of x for which the function is defined this is square root we are effectively solving for 1 minus mod x by 2 minus mod x being greater than or equal to 0. Very simple idea 1 minus mod x by 2 minus mod x greater than or equal to 0. That means we can think of this as 1 minus y by 2 minus y greater than or equal to 0. You can think of the roots as 1 and 2 y minus 1 by y minus 2 greater than or equal to 0. Y should lie outside of this range. So either y is greater than or equal to 2 or y is less than or equal to 1 except it cannot be equal to 2 because with this 2 minus mod x in the denominator so y greater than 2 or y less than or equal to 1 or our final answer range is mod x less than or equal to 1 mod x greater than 2. I basically said y equal to mod x this we know like a quadratic inequality y minus 1 by y minus 2 greater than or equal to 0 if greater than or equal to 0 y should lie outside of the roots roots are 1 and 2 so y should be either less than or equal to 1 or greater than or equal to 2 then we recognize that we cannot say greater than or equal to 2 because it's in the denominator y greater than 2 or less than or equal to 1 that means mod x less than or equal to 1 mod x greater than 2 that means x should lie between minus 1 and 1 both included or minus infinity and minus 2 or 2 to infinity. So we are looking for minus infinity to minus 2, 2 to infinity and minus 1 to 1 in the answer. The completely different way of doing it in same idea 1 minus mod x by 2 minus mod x. This should be greater than or equal to 0. Either both numerator and denominator should be positive. This by this is greater than or equal to 0. Both should be positive or both should be negative. On top of this, the numerator could be 0. Denominator cannot be 0. Either both are positive or both are negative. That means 1 minus mod x greater than 0, which means mod x less than 1, 2 minus mod x greater than 0, or mod x less than 2. Both should hold good which is effectively mod x less than 1. In this case, both should be negative. 1 minus mod x is less than 0. 2 minus mod x is less than 0. That is, mod x should be greater than 1. Mod x should be greater than 2. That means mod x should be greater than 2. The numerator could be 0, denominator could be anything. In which case, mod x would be 1. Is mod x less than or equal to 1. Mod x greater than 2. Going from first principles, not even plugging in the quadratic funda. Both numerator and denominator positive, both numerator and denominator negative. The third idea, numerator going to 0. Numerator going to 0 is mod x equal to 1. Numerator both greater than 0, we get mod x less than 1, mod x less than 2. We think about mod x less than 1 and mod x less than 2. So mod x should be less than 1 and less than 2. That means it should be less than 1. Here we are saying mod x greater than 1 and mod x greater than 2. That means mod x has to be greater than 1. If both of these conditions have to be satisfied, the tougher condition needs to be satisfied. So mod x is either greater than 2 or less than or equal to 1. We include the less than or equal to because mod x could be 1. And a very typical question. And so find out where, where what is the domain of definition of this function? Set of values of x for which f of x is defined. That's what we are going about. So we are solving for this greater than or equal to 0. We can either plug in like a quadratic inequality and simplify this. Quadratic or quotient, the funda is the same. Or we can say, look, we'll go from first principles, both positive, both negative, or numerator zero. Okay. Both positive, both negative, numerator going to zero. This is the three conditions, and then we get the range.